turn the sign on, but we do have a vacancy. Twelve, in fact. Twelve cabins, twelve vacancies. The past few days I've been to so many motels, my eyes are bleary with neon. This is the first one that looks like it's hiding from the world. I don't really forget the sign. It just doesn't seem any use since they moved the main highway. Well, I'm trying to trace a young woman who's been missing almost a week from Phoenix. It's a private matter. Family wants to forgive her. She's in trouble. I didn't think the police went searching for people who weren't in trouble. <laughs> Not the police. Oh. Yeah, she might have been using an alias. Mary Crane's the real name. I'll check the register. Who can be knocking at my door? She was very tired and went right to bed and left early. How early? Very early. Uh, dawn. Uh, which morning? The following morning, Sunday. And nobody met her? No. Or arrived with her? No, look, she was tired. She said she had a long drive ahead of her in the morning. And I'm remembering very clearly now because I'm picturing. When you make a picture of the moment in your mind, you can remember every detail. She was sitting back there. No, she was standing up. And she said she had to drive a long way. Back where? What do you mean? You said she was sitting back there, or standing, rather? Oh, here in my private parlor. She had an awful hunger, so I made her some supper. And she went to bed and left in the morning. I didn't even see her leave. She paid cash. And when she left, she never came back? Why would she? Look, sir, I'm sorry. I have work to do, if you don't mind. Is everybody home? Uh, my mother. She's ill, confined to her room. It's practically like living alone. If this girl, Mary Crane, were here, you'd have no reason to hide her, would you? Of course not. She paid you well, or had you say, gallantly protecting her, you'd have no reason to hide her. Would you? You know she was just fooling you, right? I, I'm not a fool. And I'm not capable of being fooled, not even by women. I did not mean that as a slur on your manhood, I apologize. It's all right. Maybe she could have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Your mother met her. Can I talk to her, or would that require a warrant?
out on the old highway. I'm gonna try and talk to his sick old mother and believe she saw your sister. No, you stay put, Lila, with Loomis. Should be back in an hour. One way or another. Norman? One way or another. <laughs> Mrs. Bates? One way or another. <laughs> 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 